Hey YouTube, we've come to the end of another year and I thought it would be a good time to look back on some of the mods that I've reviewed this year. There have been some amazing mods released this year and some maybe not so amazing. Maybe that could be my next video. So let's take a look at my top five vape mods of 2018. Let's jump straight into it with my number five pick, the Think Vape Thor. This one just scrapes into my top five, despite the fact that I never did actually get around to doing the review on this one. It took me a little while to love this, admittedly. I was a little bit thrown off by the fact that there is no off button on this mod, so if you want to turn this off, the only way you can do so is by removing the batteries. It pretty much sits in standby mode all the time. So I was a little bit concerned, is this going to drain my batteries a lot quicker? Well, I'm happy to say that no, it doesn't, and actually it's quite handy. Because all that happens when you're not using the mod is that you get a little lock screen like that. So essentially the mod is locked. You're not going to be accidentally firing it and it really doesn't put any extra drain on the battery. I was getting on average 300 puffs out of my 18650 batteries, which isn't bad at all. And that was vaping probably at about 0.14 ohms and around 70 watts. One of the things that I really did like about this mod was the location of the power button on the front. It's really not a bad mod. The ThinkVape 4 has a whole heap of modes. You've got your variable wattage as well as temperature control and also bypass mode, which is really handy. The Thor also has a centered 510, so you can put on those huge atomizers with no worries about overhang. Since I got this mod, ThinkVape have released a pro version of the Thor. On this one, you've got an OLED display. On the ThinkVape 4 Pro, you have an TFT color display, which is pretty cool. So they've gone with a different interface, but the mod still has the same functions and also uses the same ST200 chip. So grab yourself a bargain. I believe these will be cheaper now that ThinkVape 4 Pro is out. In my number four spot is the Watofo Recurve, designed by Mike Vapes. The Recurve Squonk is the follow-up to the Recurve RDA, which I absolutely loved. I was pretty excited to try a mod designed by one of my favourite reviewers, and I haven't been disappointed. The Recurve Squonk got me back into squonking. After trying the Pulse, I really wasn't satisfied with the power, and it had kind of put me off trying mechs for a little while as well. But when the Recurve came along, the fact that it uses 18650s, 2650s, 2700s, and 21700s definitely makes this one of my top mods of 2018. I love the design of it. It feels really, really good to use in your hand. The Squonk Mill bottle on here is great. One of the things that I didn't like about the Pulse Squonk bottles was that I could never get the flavor and the taste of my previous juice out of it. But unfortunately, I never really fell in love with the Pulse. There just was too much of a voltage drop for me and its output of 80 watts, I was barely even getting a warm vape. Now, even though the recurve is also rated at 80 watts, you can, in theory, exceed that maximum output wattage. I think on the documents it actually says 90 watts, but I've seen it everywhere rated as 80, so 80, 90, I'm not sure. But with the right build on here, a nice high-powered 18650 or even better, a 21700, the right build in here, you're going to be pumping out massive clouds. At the moment, I've got the Warrior RDA on top of my recurve. I think Mike Vapes did an awesome job. You can tell that this has been designed to his exacting standards. It's ergonomically comfortable to hold in your hand, and it's just a really great looking mod. When it's combined with the recurve, which really, in my opinion, is better on a squonk, this is one little setup you can't beat for squonking. Of course, the top thing about the recurve and why it gets into my top five mods of 2018 is the fact that though this is a semi-mech, you do have regulator protections, which makes it a great starter squonk for people looking to get into mechs. Making it into number three is the Viking Mech from Ceres Vape. The Viking Mech is designed in Sweden by Arkham Mods and manufactured by Ceres Vape. Admittedly, this is my first mech tube, so I haven't got a lot to compare it to in terms of reference. But coming from a perspective of a beginner with a mech tube, I have been really impressed with the performance of this mech. The Ceres Vapor do have the Viking Mech mod in different colours. I think maybe the black, the red, there's a white as well as this plain copper. 
Now what I love most about the Viking and why it makes it into my top five is that this thing hits hard. I use Vapcell 38 amp batteries in here and I get amazing power and performance with a nice build sitting around 0.13 to 0.15. Ceres Vape have used silver plated contacts in here which provide excellent conductivity. This thing just hits really hard. Now unfortunately I've had a cold for the last few weeks so I'm not going to hit this today on the video but do go check out that review. Now why this one makes it into my top five other than the fact that it hits really hard is the fact that it is so comparably priced. Now you might get a little bit of difference in price depending on where you do purchase it from. In Australia, I've seen this retailing for about $150, which is actually a comparable price to the Dreamer Mech and the VGOD Pro. And I've also seen this going for about $45 to $55 on some of the China sites. Definitely worth a look if you want an affordable and hard hitting mech tube. Number two, the Smoant Chiron Mini. This has definitely been one of my favorite mods of 2018. The Chiron Mini just ticks all the boxes for me. I love the user interface. I'm not too much of a fan of the speed dial look that you also see on the Cylon, but Smoant did a really good job with this. I think the custom wallpaper is a cool little feature. I love the fact that this mod does temperature control and variable wattage, and the fact that it has custom curves in both temperature control mode and wattage mode. The convenient size definitely makes it a favorite all day carry. One of my favorite features of this mod is the ability to put on your custom screensavers. I've had a lot of fun playing around with that. And this rainbow version is amazing. I love the gradient back panel. Some people aren't a huge fan of the battery back panel door. It is magnetized and you do get a little bit of movement, but for me, honestly, it hasn't been a problem. I just love this thing paired with my rainbow recurve. Although I do prefer the squonking with the recurve, you can't get past that matchy matchy. Yeah, I really do love my smell out mods. And the number one vape mod for 2018 for me is the Smoant Naboo. The Smoant Naboo has the same chip as the Smoant Chiron Mini. So it's also got the same user interface and menu options and all the same features. Although Naboo does have the extra feature of the music mode. This one features a much larger TFT color screen and that screen is absolutely amazing. It pretty much does almost go edge to edge of the mod. Comes with some pre-installed wallpapers and it's good that you've got a little bit more space to play around with on those wallpapers. This display is just amazing. I absolutely love it. This one came in a kit, so I've got the Naboo tank on top and wow, this thing is awesome. Love it. This mod is so cool. The other cool feature of the Smoant Naboo is of course the touch button operation. So you've got these two touch buttons on the front of the screen, but you also have a lock button underneath the power button here. So you can click that and it won't accept the touches anymore because this thing is very sensitive. It's really, really reactive to your touch. So even if you accidentally press the corner of the mod, say with your little finger or something, it will go off. So it's really good that they thought about that and put a button in there. Now you can't completely disable that feature because the selection buttons are controlled by the touch buttons on the front. And it also does have vibration. Now you can go in there and turn that feature off in the settings. All in all, this one is a little bit bigger than the Chiron Mini, but oh, they finally released a purple mod. Well, not quite purple, it's gradient blue, but depending on the light, it switches between blue and purple. My favorite color is purple. So it's kind of for aesthetic reasons that the Naboo makes it to number one in my top five pick of vape mods for 2018. So that was my top five vape mods. What's your top five? Let me know down in the comments below. There's also some mods that didn't make it into my top five, but they are still or would be maybe in my top 10. Honorable mentions are the Manto mods from Rinko, as well as the Vupu V-Mate. I did really like that, but I think what put it off for me and why I didn't put it in my top five, despite the fact that the gene chip is great, I really didn't like the buttons on the V-Mate. Go check that review out. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel as well and make sure you hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.